these are the images President Joe Biden hopes voters will remember on Tuesday as they cast their ballots in midterm congressional elections. Supporters of former President Donald Trump storming the U.S. Capitol building, attempting to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election, a threat he says remains today. If he refuses to accept the will of the people, he refuses to accept the fact that he lost. He has abused his power. It was a dark day in American democracy that Biden claims opposition Republicans are poised to repeat if the outcome of this latest vote does not go their way. Trying to succeed where they failed in 2020, to suppress the right of voters and subvert the electoral system itself. That means denying your right to vote and deciding whether your vote even counts. It's a decidedly dark message from the normally upbeat Biden, shaken by the recent attack on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband. Paul Pelosi was struck with a hammer in his home by a right-wing extremist who claims he was fighting against tyranny. Biden says the threats of political violence are surging. We can't allow this sentiment to grow. We must confront it head on now. Some conservative Republicans say Biden's democracy speech is a desperate attempt to deflect voter attention away from crises of his own making, rising interest rates, food and fuel prices. America is going down a very dark path right now. OK, um, that, that's what I see. Inflation is really concerning right now. Prices are just soaring. People can't afford anything. It's these economic concerns that are giving Republicans a narrow edge in polling, with more than half of all voters identifying the economy and inflation, not threats to democracy, as the top concern for most Americans heading into Tuesday's congressional election. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, The White House.